Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and it's been a while since we've played this. Welcome back to the Aquarist, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're out at the exhibition once again, and I want to design some more aquariums today. I've actually put this game off a little bit, uh, talking to the developer and whatnot. I knew the game was being developed uh, still, and uh, recently, an update has come out, so I thought it'd be a good time to check it out once again. And hopefully, by the end of this, we should be nearing the Oceanarium. Uh, as that's the ultimate goal in this game, to unlock that wonderful place. I don't know if we'll get there today. Depends on how successful this place is, I guess. But yes, if you're new to this series, this is an aquarium building game. We're at my exhibition right now. I actually just went back to my store and restocked that as well. Because if you don't know, I actually earn money on a daily basis at the shop as well. So I might do some basic aquariums here as well. Because uh, I only have my main display tank and then um, my stock. I didn't know I'd actually earn money at both places. I thought we essentially just moved on in this game, but that is not how it works. Regardless, we're going to go back to the exhibition. Uh, and I think I'm going to try and design a new aquarium to fill up this side. And then once we get a little bit of money, I really want to try and do this big aquarium as well. Uh, it costs 5000 I only have 5900 right now, so I wouldn't have enough to actually make the aquarium. Uh, so we'll likely do that today. There's supposed to be a fragging station as well now. Uh, if you don't know what fragging is, it's essentially uh, growing coral. I don't know if I have to be a higher level to unlock that or whatnot. I am still very much leveling up in this game, so a lot of the new features might not be unlocked yet, which is okay. I, I like slow progression. All right, so we're going to buy this table. I actually don't really have a plan this time. I was really hoping there'd be new aquariums, if I'm fully honest. Uh, we still only have the basic aquarium, but I guess it fits very well on these stands anyways. So we're going to buy that, uh, go away from the small guys here, and I think I have an idea of what I want to do. Because, yes, it looks like we have very much a lot of the same stuff. I might need to level up a bit before I unlock. There's a lot more soils, that's for sure, which is fantastic. Before we had three. Uh, so I definitely do have some unlocks, which is nice to see. Uh, definitely going to buy some new soil here. Should we do a sand? Yeah, you know what? We've, we've always done soil stone it calls it soil but they're all called soil which is very confusing so let's get some nice orange sand here we'll buy that and start with that all right so yeah looking at the new backdrops we have a lot of new ones they're all picture based which is a bit of a bummer i very much prefer the flat colors but i definitely do want to try some of these and sometimes these stone effects will look really nice so i think i'm gonna buy uh three of the well let's just do one for now and see how it looks we might close in the sides as well anyways i need to earn as much money as possible so we'll work on this throughout the days i want to open my store so i earn money all right well we definitely have a lot more people in here now of course they're littering as per usual i love humans man how much did we earn though that's the big question i hope Okay, not as much as I hoped for. Viewer, visitor satisfaction, only 35%. Then again, if I was to come to an exhibition and it only had three aquariums, I'd be like, what the hell too? So I guess I can't complain. Now let's see if we actually earn money on the shop as well. And yes, indeed we did. Not much because I emptied this place when I moved on, but uh, hey, any little bit helps. So we'll restock every day and uh hopefully well we're probably not gonna get forty thousand today um but hopefully we'll get close to that by the end of this all right so let's get back to work this actually looks really good with this backdrop i am not mad about this one i think i'm gonna go possibly mostly shells in this one for some reason i just assume if there's sand there's gonna be shells around as well okay i think i'm getting somewhere it's very hard to make something look nice when every rock of this color is just round um, so I've spent a long time, it might not look like it, uh, trying to give this any sort of depth. Uh, we're gonna add a bunch of small rocks around the outskirts here. All right, I think I'm getting there now. I added a big rock to the side to make it look more natural, like everything's not just in the middle of the tank, and added a bunch of small rocks. The middle small rocks look a little too uniform for me, so I'm gonna add a cluster just around like one they just look too evenly spaced out and again when it comes to aquarium building you just want everything to be kind of chaotic but natural looking and that generally makes it look better so now that we don't have so much uniformity in the middle i think that looks pretty damn good if i do say so myself considering i had four rocks to choose from it's very hard to make four rocks look like a bunch of different rocks all right let's actually go into plants i don't know if i'm gonna use any we do have a couple new ones Ooh, we got monte carlo um i love monte carlo in real life don't really know if i really want much in terms of plant life in here though maybe if we'll just put a couple around the rock 
All right, I think I'm going to get some hydrophilia as well, just to add a stem plant in the back that's going to be a little taller, just to make it a little bit different. If it's all Monte Carlo, I think it's going to look bad. All right, there we go. That looks pretty natural to me, and that was my goal. I am happy with that. I think people will enjoy looking at that. Oh, yeah, I should probably get fish in here too. That, that would be smart. I mean, they don't need fish, but it's probably a good idea. Uh, people tend to like looking at fish more than plants. All right, you know what? This one's been bothering me too. I think I'm going to scrape off that yellow. Yellow just looks awful in this. And now that we have a bunch of new backdrops, let's do this right. Oh God, my, my, my plants are dying. Hold on. I always remember to turn on your heaters, kids. Not the smartest idea. It's a good thing we didn't have fish in there. I hope we're okay. Was it these plants? What other plants? Oh crap, I forgot to feed my fish too. I am an awful fish keeper. Here you go, you starving goldfish. I'm sorry. All right, so we'll deal with this tomorrow. I want to open this up as quickly as possible. Hopefully, actually, I think this might be my favorite now. This one looks really natural and good. Obviously, these don't look natural at all. That wasn't the goal. Um, but yeah, I think this one should hopefully increase demand at least a little bit. We got half of our uh, exhibition done. The other side's really sad still. I forgot to pick up a piece of trash too, evidently. Let's see. Hey, satisfaction is going way up. They must like it. All right, so yeah, as I said, oh, that's why I didn't want to do that. I forgot I had the uh, island rocks connected to the actual. That's so dumb because the rocks aren't actually connected to the, the wallpaper. They'd be connected to the actual glass. But yeah, being that I did that, I lost my floating islands, which was the whole point of this aquarium. So we'll have to do those again. All right, I despise fake decorations in uh, aquariums, but I mean, one of my favorite songs as a kid was Castles in the Sky. So in this regard, I think it's okay. It looks like a floating castle. I also got rid of a lot of tall plants uh, just because this aquarium was a little too chaotic for me. I'm going to get rid of a few more, actually. All right, put a big old log in there with the other logs. <laughs> All right, good enough. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but that's definitely an improvement and it uh, looks pretty good. <gasps> there's the vacuum oh you know what i'm actually gonna buy that um so yes now because humans are trash in this game and keep dropping trash that will allow me to not have to pick up trash every day which takes a couple minutes actually because i can't put them in my inventory so that's a huge improvement now i'm actually gonna go back to my store real quick and i'm just going to rush fill this thing i'm gonna treat this like a shop these are not gonna be pretty aquariums but i'm just gonna stock them with a bunch of stuff so we earn money every day so we can get to that oceanarium as quickly as possible oh yeah i just remembered i forgot to stock my other tank you know what i'll go back and do that before today opens all right so this is a sand-based aquarium i would love something like quarries uh i don't i haven't looked at what's new in the game okay we got a ram those guys are little jerks but they love rocks uh roaches i've never actually kept i've never had a stickle back either interesting burbot xander i don't know what any of these are usually i mean i'm pretty good with freshwater fish these are all new species i've never seen the roach looks like a danio of some sort these guys look interesting you know what i i can't tell if they're gonna be big or not I have a sneaky suspicion they will be. All right, so it's an elongated fish from the family Latade that inhibits the cold rivers and lakes of Europe, Asia, and North America. You know what? This guy looks like he'd fit really well in this aquarium. I think he's big. 16 and 9. I don't know if that's centimeters. I hope it's not inches. That's insane. Oh, he's in my inventory now. They used to come in bags. Oh, they do come in bags. Dude, you're gonna look so cool. Yeah, I, I think we'll put a couple of those guys in. I definitely want a bigger one, so we'll buy a big guy here. Uh, what's their temperature, by the way? 16 to 19. Oh, yeah. Cold waters. That might be something I regret. Um, so we're going to have to drop the temp down. Oh, I didn't even enable the heater. Okay, so we'll put it at uh, a, a stable 18. You know what? These two will go well together in terms of temp. So I hope Xander isn't too big. He is bigger. Uh, I'm going to add two of these in here, too. So we'll have some big species in this tank. Mind you, they don't look big now, but I think they'll get big later. This, this feels nice. It's got a bunch of weird fish in it. All right, throw trash now, you jerks. You can't because I have a Roomba. Give me all your money. Thank you. Look at that. $3,000 a day. That's actually really good considering we only have this half stocked. Um, are my fish okay? Fish seem to be doing fine. So we'll clean this and then go back to the store. Item has run out. I didn't know I could run out of... Oh, yeah, that was part of the update. All right, well, let's not throw that on the floor. That's not very smart. 
I don't know who's buying fish food bottles for $11, but I, I will glad... Oh, never mind. It was $0. <laughs> I guess that's how much it costs. Anyways, yeah, now fish food's a thing we have to deal with. Great. So another cool thing they added is you can only sell f or you can enable to sell only fish now. So I'm definitely going to do that for this aquarium because it was essentially a display aquarium before. Oh, God. Uh, I might have went a bit overboard with the fish. Uh, also, I was just going... <sighs> so some of these fish like uh, tropical water, some like cold water. And I thought they'd be all organized. They they are not organized. Oh, God. I'm sorry, everybody. Hold on. Uh, that, that would be cold water. So I'll just throw you over there. You're actually goldfish or cold water too, aren't they? What, what, what do you like? Oh, I forgot they want plants and decorations too. Stupid fish having opinions. All right. Well, at least temperature is fine. I thought goldfish would be a lot colder, but that's not the case. All right. Well, maybe we should get some plants before we take them out of their bags. Oh, God. All right, I actually put them all in the same aquarium. Um, I, I realized that fish, I don't think, will die in this game. Uh, they just won't breed if they're not 100% happy. And uh, I have a sneaky suspicion none of these are going to be happy. It'd be impossible to make everybody happy because every fish has different preferences. So I'm just going to consider this a bad investment. I'll uh, wait for these things to sell, and then I'll specifically stock this with a certain fish to make it happy and hopefully breed. Because if fish breed, that's essentially printing money for me. And obviously, that's a good thing. So I think that's enough for right now. We still have a little bit more we can add to this place, but I do want to do um, some more in the exhibition room. All right, so I'm finally going to buy this big one just to see how this works. I don't know if it's just going to hold two or what it's going to do. Can I fill this? Because technically there's already glass here, as you can see. So let's see. I might just have to build it over there, which I'm totally fine with. This is cool if this is the case. Finally, a different sized aquarium. Actually, we should probably do soil first. I think I'm going to buy a different soil, too. We don't want all the same in here. And being that we have quite a few options now, actually, this is kind of exciting. So, um, I do like the sand. Let's go for this lighter sand. $74 for some soil. Jesus. I really hope this works. Okay, so yeah, this is just a giant... I only get one of these, but this is just a massive aquarium. I don't even know what I'm going to do in here, but I'm so excited. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like the lightness of the sand. I don't think... I keep liking the um, backgrounds, but obviously with something like this, it should look nice all the way around the aquarium. So I think I'm just going to leave it empty. We'll fill it up with some water and figure out what we want to do in here. Okay, I'm finally going to do it. A lot of you guys asked me to do more salt water. Now, I know nothing about salt water. I don't know how you're supposed to design them. My logic is more is better with salt water. So I'm just going to have a massive coral reef, if you will, uh, in this place. And then you guys can be happy. Wait. Oh, I just realized this is, is this the fracking station? Oh, it is. Well, I have to buy this now, too. I'm morbidly curious. So if you don't know how fracking works, basically they take bigger pieces of coral, cut them into smaller pieces so you can sell them for the home market. That's the little bit I know. Hold the click. What? what did I buy this? Why is it? Wait, wait. Can, I, can, I, can I just sell all these things? Oh my god, I can. Wait, what else can I do here that I don't know about? All right, well, I'm getting occupied now, but I wanted to add plants on both sides of this. There we go. Um, I don't know. Do I just put coral in here and then I can sell? Well, I can't sell it. This isn't a store. It's an exhibition. I'm wondering if I can grow my own so I don't need to buy any. Then again, I don't know how that will work because you, you, you don't take clippings off in this game. So I, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to salt water. I don't know why I'm doing salt water. Um, but we're gonna do it anyways. So yeah, it says I can reproduce corals planted in it and may grow even larger. So, hopefully these things grow and then we can just throw them in here. I have no idea. Anyways, I'll spend more time on that later. I knew it was part of the update. I just didn't know how to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to this. Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do for this one... Uh, again, really don't know what I'm doing, but I, it will be fun. Uh, I'm gonna put kind of plants in the middle and then on the outskirts, I want a bunch of coral all around this thing. So it looks pretty from all views. Um, but I also want a bunch of plants in the middle. I think it'll look cool. So I'm doing like these carpeting plants right now. Again, no idea what I'm doing, but, uh, hopefully it looks good by the end of this. Well, I left it, uh, out for a day and they definitely reproduce. I put one of everything in here. Well, not one of everything, but one of most in here. As you can see, we have two now. 
Exciting. Free coral. Anyways, as you can see, my kelp forest is very kelp-like. So again, I would love to attach these coral to rocks, which is what you're supposed to do, but you can't attach them to rocks in this game. So we're just going to um, throw them down realistic-like, I guess. Oh. oh, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. I just wish you could stick the coral. Okay, that's not bad. I wish you could stick the coral in the rock like you can the backdrop with the rocks because it would make life so much easier. I have to like balance these things. It's taking me forever to place two pieces of coral and some rocks. Okay, I'm not happy with this one, but being that I've never really done coral before, um, yeah, that's it for now. I might work on it a little bit later. Uh, this side's a little bit barren, but uh, I didn't really know what else to do. I like that I put most of the plants in the middle though so it looks good from all the way around uh now all we got to do is stock this thing with some fish and we're gonna go for big gut we might even i think we'll just throw in every fish there's actually not many saltwater fish in this game which is interesting uh uh-oh i kind of got occupied with the salt water these oh they're not going for the food this is bad <laughs> this is really bad i'm supposed to open the oh no oh my god Oh my god! Is anybody alive? I thought it would warn me at the bottom. I wasn't worried about it because I thought it warned me. It only warns me for plants? Why the frig would it warn me for plants? Oh, I can't open right- wait, can I open right now? Just out of morbid curiosity. Let's see what happens. I am gonna get some negative reviews online, I'll tell you that much. Oh god, there's so many people. Oh, this is so bad. I mean, there, there's some clownfish. Look at those things moving. Okay. They're still somewhat sad. I'm actually impressed. God, the goldfish are the worst. It's just judging me with that beady little eye every time I gotta throw one in the trash. Oh yeah, I should probably put you in a tank too. Wow, you know what? I deserve to be fired. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Aquarius once again. Probably my most productive day yet. We finally got into a little bit of salt water and holy crap, did we ever get into fracking? Um... I guess that's like sell these things soon. Not that that's a bad thing. Free money for me. Yay. I like fracking. <laughs> Anyways, guys, in the next one, uh, we'll definitely work on getting the Oceanarium. I'll likely just earn a bun bunch of money before that episode so we can get that. Uh, because that is going to be truly exciting. Don't get me wrong. This has been fun. But the Oceanarium is the ultimate goal. That way we can get massive tanks. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure. Thanks so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.